order of the new world order. This is Drake. Y'all know what the fuck going on for this last five weeks before, man. So I did got hanging these last couple of weeks. You know what I mean? Because I know shit that was real crazy. But, you know what I mean? I had to take a little IA. I broke my phone. You know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? I'm back to y'all with some facts. You know how I get down. You know how I black myself get down. So, check this out. So, uh, right now, it's the United States. It's that. Uh, Nearly. Fastly approaching. 100,000 of us dead from COVID-19. Meanwhile, there's like states like opening up like this. Motherfuckers don't get it. It's not going back to normal, my dude. My dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, but anyway, um, you know, if people are, like, excited to go back out, you know, while these numbers are still climbing, like, and it was said that no, it was already said that no, uh, station is actually qualified, uh, for, uh, based on the White House, like, set rules on what it would take to actually reopen, uh, their states or whatever. None of them, uh, none of them have done it before they opened. You know, we pulled out the new world the Bishop Grady Let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report So in Charlotte, North Carolina uh, This August, uh, they're supposed to have the Republican National Convention, right? Um, now, Trump is actually threatening To relocate the RNC If uh, the Democratic Governor Of North Carolina, Roy Cooper Can't guarantee that they will allow for a packed crowd in, these, in the arena that it's supposed to take place in Now, you know, I mean, because obviously You know, we're trying to be uh, safe, social distancing And all of that shit, whatever, right? Uh, he was on Twitter yesterday talking about how uh, The Democratic Governor Roy Cooper Basically is uh, still in shutdown mode Keep in mind, or still in shutdown mood But, you know, this is He says this two days uh, Put this on Twitter, whatever, two days after the North Carolina actually had their highest Daily increase of coronavirus disease cases So just some wild immature shit also on friday he deemed he said that all uh places of worship are essential and that um he's threatening to override the governor's decision to uh you know close these places during the pandemic talking about how like some governors have even deemed like liquor stores and uh abortion clinics um uh as uh essential so like you know he's not gonna ha ha let that ride but he doesn't even have the uh constitutional powers to even do that on matters of uh worship so you know that's What's going on? Green War on graduation. Two the new world though. The Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So uh, across the nation, you talking about 1,200 people uh, in these uh, immigrant detention centers and these ICE jails have actually uh, contracted COVID-19. Um, but just yesterday, uh, this past weekend, the second known person has actually died from COVID-19 in these immigrant jails. 34-year-old uh, um, uh, Sa uh, Santiago Baton Oxlack of uh, Guatemala. Um, actually was um, at the Stewart Detention Center in Georgia uh, before he was transferred to a hospital and yeah, died from COVID-19. Uh, the uh, first person known uh, was um, Carlos Ernesto Escobar Mejia of um, El Salvador. Uh, he died earlier this month uh, after going to a hospital in San Diego. Dude was in the uh, Ote Mesa Detention Center that you know has constantly been protested uh, about there's like 200 prisoners there that have so far contracted COVID-19 um just yes uh this past Sunday pardon me uh they actually protested around Ote Mesa Detention Center demanding the release of the prisoners in there so Green War and graduate report of the new world of the Bishop Grady Lay y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report so um the ice immigration customs enforcement um you know the immigration police of the united states they are still deporting motherfuckers like even if you have COVID 19 so you know what i'm saying spread the word if, if motherfuckers don't know uh for instance they are actually trying to send this plane out to um haiti with 78 haitian nationals on it nine of them actually have tested positive for having COVID 19 sars cov2 uh coronavirus disease 2019 that rona you know what i'm saying and check out bfm world broadcast number 17 aka rona you can get to it through the link in the black files news instagram bio nevertheless um among these 78 though you actually have a uh, former Haitian para, uh, death squad leader, Emmanuel Toto Constant. Uh, this person actually f uh, founded a paramilitary group that was accused of rape, torture, and the murder of thousands of supporters of former Haitian president uh, Jean uh, Bertrand 
our, our side. So you have Haitian activists that are like pleading with uh, the Department of Homeland Security to halt the deportation. Green Warren graduate. What out of the new world though, the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So shit is getting real in South America. The World Health Organization has actually announced that they are the new epicenter for this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Now, uh, you have uh, countries like Brazil that are having like crazy numbers. I mean, only second to the U.S. as far as total COVID-19 cases with 375,000 total. 23,000 people died in total from COVID-19 over there in Brazil. Uh, 620 people in the U.S. died uh, yesterday uh, from COVID-19 on Monday. You know what I mean? That's the daily death toll. But over in Brazil, it was 800. So they beating out the U.S. as far as this shit go. Um, Trump has actually uh, imposed a travel restriction on Brazil saying like foreign nationals who've been to Brazil within the last 14 days will not be allowed to enter the U.S. And that goes into effect midnight tonight. That will not, however, affect uh, U.S. citizens, permanent residents or people with like very close relatives in Brazil. Uh, Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro continues to downplay this shit like it ain't really that serious, but you know, it's a lot of bodies piling up. Green war and graduation. Pulled out of the new world, though. The Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report, man. Make sure you check out my album, Still I Ground, man. That shit on the way. But the mixtape, the Instagram mixtape, never before done, an Instagram mixtape is actually out. Go to at still underscore I Ground. It's not on that piff. It's not on my mixtapes. It's on IG. Uh, and you'll see that, that heat. And I'm going to keep adding to it as well. You know what I mean? As these Fridays keep coming, these Freestyle Fridays keep coming up. You know what I mean? So stay tuned and we're gonna keep witnessing greatness. Now, um, I'm going to keep sharing this info with y'all, though, back to the news where, uh, and I told y'all how the World Health Organization has actually announced that South America is the new epicenter of this COVID-19 pandemic. Um, Argentina and Peru have actually extended their nationwide do nationwide lockdowns into June. So, you know, now we're going into the summertime. And then you have Chilean President Sebastian Piñera that actually said that their, their country, the country's healthcare system in Chile is actually very close to the limit. They have uh, 74,000 total coronavirus disease 2019 cases. Green War and graduation. Report of the New World, though, the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So, over in Britain, uh, Prime Minister Boris Johnson is actually uh, facing a lot of criticism especially from like the parents or whatever because he's pushing to reopen schools this week like Holmes really ain't learned his lesson from catching that COVID-19 that Rona and being all hospitalized and put on a ventilator and all of that but um, even more even more fire than that I mean his top advisor Dominic Cummins is actually um, uh, being heavily you know he's getting hit with the fire in the media and all of that because basically he violated Britain's lockdown just to go visit his parents while him and his wife actually have COVID-19. So that's kind of crazy. Um, elsewhere in Europe, uh, over in Russia, they actually had um, 150 fatalities yesterday due to COVID-19. So that's their uh, highest daily record. But their number of new cases of coronavirus disease uh, uh, 2019 is actually dropping. Green War and graduation. What other new world though? The Bishop Grady Lay. Y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So, World Health Organization has actually suspended uh, trials for hydroxychloroquine. This is the drug that is actually used to fight malaria that has been uh, talked up as possibly being able to treat uh, COVID 19, SARS CoV 2, uh, coronavirus disease. Uh, that Ronan, you know what I'm saying? Now, um, the Trump has been the main person, the loudest voice, talking about how you like it could be used that, to do that, and you know, at the same time though, uh, and and Doctor, I heard Doctor Oz actually suggest that while he was uh, on talking on the Breakfast Club on over the phone, but at the same time, um, it just hasn't found been found to be true. It hasn't really passed any clinical trials to to be that. Like you know, there's the World Health Organization suspending the trials, citing safety concerns. There was a new study published in the lancet that actually showed that out of 96,000 hospitalized patients um the people who took hydroxychloroquine had a significantly higher death rate than those who didn't green war and graduation so this past friday um uh, in pakistan uh, you actually had um, uh, pakistan uh, uh, pakistan international airline flight jet that actually crashed into the neighborhood of karachi pakistan while it was trying to
to actually land at the airport. Uh, 97 people dead. Only two people survived the crash. Now, the people in Karachi, there were like dozens of residents that actually had to be to taken to the hospital, but there were no fatalities reported on the ground. But, man, plane crash is always serious, you know what I'm saying? It makes people a little apprehensive towards even riding the motherfuckers, but that's what happened. The Green War graduated. Before the other new world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So, the Washington Post is actually reporting that the Trump administration is planning on actually doing a nuclear test. The first of its kind since 1992. Now, um, there's a top official in the Trump administration saying that, like, you know, it'll actually help with nuclear arms negotiations and treaty negotiations with Russia and China. But you have Daryl Kimball, the leader of the um, Arms Control Association, that's actually saying this is going to be a start and gun to an unprecedented nuclear arms race. So uh, there's obviously fears of that. And there's been fears of that with this administration for the past couple years. I mean, just last week, the Trump, the Trump administration said that they are going to withdraw from uh, the Open Skies Treaty, which is like an international arms deal, that uh, arms treaty, rather. And, um, you know, keep in mind, last year, Trump took us out of the INF Treaty with Russia, which is the Intermediate Range uh, Nuclear Forces Treaty. So, you know, what games are they playing? Green War and Graduation. They report out the new world through the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So, actually on Sunday, this past Sunday, uh, there were thousands of people in Hong Kong, the semi-autonomous region of Hong Kong, um, that it took to the streets protesting against this new Chinese um, security law that they're trying to implement that apparently is actually going to go around Hong Kong legislature, which basically says... Uh, allows uh, uh, security forces to actually crack down, um, Chinese security forces to crack down on what they say uh, are um, subversion, subversion of state power activities and uh, secessionist activities. Uh, so these are scenarios where, you know, it, it seems like uh, Beijing, China is actually trying to tighten its grip on Hong Kong, even though they're supposed to be like somewhat autonomous. Remember last year, they had those, um, uh, a lot of protests, millions of people here in the streets over those extradition bills, where if you catch a case in Hong Kong, you get shipped out to China or whatever. People died over that shit. And this was, uh, you know, could get just as ugly. I mean, water cannons, uh, to uh, tear gas, pepper spray was all used on the protests this past Sunday. Green War and graduate. Put out of the new world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So, uh, shout out to civil rights attorney, uh, Lee Merritt. Um, he actually made an announcement that the Department of Justice is actually investigating the murder of Ahmaud Arbery as a, uh, a hate crime, a federal hate crime. So, uh, the crazy thing about it is, um, this, 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 uh, for those who've been living under a rock the past couple of weeks or whatever, Ma Aubrey was a 25-year-old black man who was shot, who was shot and killed by these two white guys, and then there was a third white guy that was actually, that actually filmed the event, right? And, uh, shot down in the street, jogging, being accused of, like, uh, breaking and entering and all of that, and, um, it was just with very little regard to the person's life. If you see the video, you it's just clear as day. And nevertheless, um, this murder happened in February, but it wasn't until the video footage was released earlier this month that those two uh, killers were actually brought to, uh, were actually arrested. And then, you know, the third guy, the filmer, has actually been recently arrested. So, you know, hopefully, and this was in Georgia. So, justice for uh, Arbery, man. Green War and graduate. For the other new world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So, um, uh, presidential candidate for the Democratic Party, Joe Biden, actually apologized. He apologized on a conference call with the U.S. Black Chambers for basically being on the Breakfast Club with uh, Char Charlemagne the God. It was just Charlemagne and um, Joe Biden basically having an interview uh, via like Skype or Zoom or whatever the fuck they was using. And basically, J uh, uh, Biden was like, you know, well, you know, I, I know you, hey, Charlemagne, you have questions and all of that, whatever. But basically, if, if you don't know whether you want to vote for me or Trump, then you ain't black. And he said this to Charlemagne the God, whatever, you know, he's been. Charlemagne's responding like, well, you know, it has nothing to do with that. I want to see more from my community, blah, blah, blah. And he's, and Biden's talking about, you know, how he extended the Voting Rights Act 25 years and the NAACP uh, always endorses him. Like, come on, man. Like, a terrible, uh, a terrible move. I'm sure a PR nightmare for anybody that's black on his, on his team. Stacey Abrams, I feel sorry for you. But nevertheless, like, 
Um, I'm offended for Charlemagne, and I'm surprised Holmes ain't cursed him out, you digs? But that's what's happening, though. He apologized, but who gives a fuck? Joe Biden, Green War and Graduate. For the other New World Order, Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So, a uh, U.S. District Court Judge Robert Hinkle in Florida actually shut down or struck down this law that was put in place by uh, Governor Rob DeSantis and his people, you know what I'm saying, um, that basically required felons to pay all of their court fees and fines and all of that before they're able to register to vote. Now this law was actually put in place by Floridians in 2018 in response to a law that actually had uh, passed that allowed felons to vote. You know what I'm saying? So uh, the, um, the judge actually said that this is like a unconstitutional poll tax. And it's, you know, what he didn't say, what I'm going to say, though, is it's some racist bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But that's what's going down. No green wall on graduation. Shout out to uh, Judge Hinkle, man. For the other new world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So uh, rest in power to Stacey Park Milburn. This is a, uh, an activist, a disability justice activist, you could say, uh, who actually died at age 33 from complications due to her surgery. But... She started in Oakland, California, the Disability Justice Culture Club, which was a place where uh, queer, um, you know, disabled black and indigenous and people of color could actually come through and organize. And even once this COVID-19 shit hit, they actually were like making and distributing hand sanitizer throughout the community. She's had to speak up for these, uh, for the disabled community on a few times, even having to uh, recently speak out against um, you know, lobbying groups for hospitals and assisted living uh, uh, quarters to, uh, f you know, in their efforts and trying to get immunity from liability f in dealing with this COVID-19 shit. So, um, you know, and she's like, you know, I mean, every, you know, you're talking about doing dealing with a system that already doesn't care about us or whatever. Like, you know, they have efforts that need to be respected. And, um, you know, she's tried to continue those efforts and hold our people down. So, you know, what I mean, rest the power to her. Green War and Graduation. Yo, Bishop Grady, man, editor-in-chief of Black Files News. This is an editor's note. This is not even a BFM world, um, a BFM report. But check this out, though. A lot of people is excited to get back out in these streets. You know what I'm saying? Because you have these governors that are saying it's okay to actually go back outside. Let, let me let me tell y'all something, man. No, no state has yet to fulfill the White House's own requirements that are set for them to actually safely allow for businesses and you know the whole state to reopen if you were concerned about it before you have absolutely no logical basis to not be concerned about it right now the numbers have gone they're still up they're still climbing so